Too much sodium in our diet can cause health problems and all too often it's disguised in our food. So Mary, what should we know about sodium? What does the government want us to do about sodium? Sodium is actually becoming a real health hazard. It's costing the Canadian taxpayer billions and billions of dollars a year because um, increased or too much sodium in your diet will lead to things like hypertension, high blood pressure, um, it will lead to kidney failure, it can contribute to osteoporosis, cardiovascular diseases like stroke, so it's, it's a very, very serious problem. How much sodium should we have in our diet per day? Recommended allowance is 1,200 to 1,500 milligrams a day. The average teaspoon of salt has over t is just over 2,000 milligrams. So really, under a teaspoon of salt a day is all you need. And that includes the items that are in your packaged food as well? That's right. Uh, the highest contributing factor in our diet for sodium is processed foods. It contributes about 75% of our sodium intake. Another strange one that we don't always think about are breads. Breads are really high in sodium. Also cereals. Um, then the rest of the sodium tends to come from either adding it to your food at the table or um, you know, your snack foods, those kinds of things. Can you describe to us the labels and how we can compare certain items to control our sodium intake? Right. Being a label reader is one of the most important things you can do. Um, for example, you can get one cereal that will have less than two milligrams of sodium. You can look at another cereal that nutrition-wise, other than the sodium, is very comparable, but might have 100 up to 200 or 300 milligrams of sodium. Now, why should controlling our sodium be something that's consumer-driven, something that we can control? Right. The government, actually the pre uh, provincial government, the federal government, and the territorial government are all working together now. And um, what they want to do is reduce the average intake of sodium per Canadian by half by the year 2016. And the reason being is it's so expensive because of all the illnesses that are accompanied by high sodium intake, like I mentioned before. So if we can... Um, each make a conscious decision to use less sodium, to be a conscientious label reader and choose products that have less sodium, we will drive the market and then the industry will follow suit. And use salt alternatives, get creative with your cooking, use different spices and vegetables and sauces that don't have the sodium intake. So keeping track of sodium in our diet can have an effect on our health and well-being. For Shaw TV, I'm Ann Gordon-Air.